Hello, I am David, and this is another pre compassion tour video log answering questions about compassion from people around the United States. And the compassion tour will be starting September 3rd in Key, New York, and had a great planning Google Hangout meeting this evening with the people that are helping helping to put it together went very well and this evening's question comes from Donna who lives here in Davis California and her question is what is the relationship between pity commiseration and compassion this is often a question that people often ask me at the corner and something that I have come to understand in a bit more detail than when I first began and also through some of the philosophy that's been shared by Karen Armstrong on her thought and her thoughts on com what pity is and also I Define this according to some of the experiences that I've gone through at the corner. Commiseration, from my understanding at this moment, is a sympathy and is very much related to pity. And I've come to understand, and this is at all, uh, consider this as ever changing as I continue to grow and learn, that I understand pity to be in. Uh, misunderstanding without uh, mutual understanding and what I mean by that is there's an imbalance in either status or the way that one perceives oneself and that there is more of a force involved in the help that's offered and the first time I experienced this at the corner was when someone chose to offer me food without really understanding what the need was at that moment being a vegetarian i was offered a hamburger and although the offering was given in total generosity i believe it was done with a sense of pity as though there was something that the person offering felt that was needed for someone else without really taking the time to understand what that need is and I think this is docile done on a larger scale when it comes to services that seek to help nonprofits and sometimes governments even without really understanding the needs of the individual or the people that are involved in in my own evolution of compassion, I've included mutual understanding as the four, one of the four components. First one being listening, second one being acknowledging, third one being mutual understanding, and the fourth one, which I believe to be most important, is action. And I think commiseration and pity are all can stay at an in, in an inactive state i believe compassion is action and the actual action once the listening and acknowledging and mutual understanding has come to pass that there's something that's done to help allevi alleviate the suffering that's involved and i know there are exceptions i and without children though i would say there are moments when a parent must without mutual understanding if a child is running across the street take action in order to help alleviate suffering that may happen or someone that is laying unconscious on the street is in, and is in need of medical help that is compassion I myself have been in circumstances where I felt that uh, because of someone's mental illness that's another case that it may be without mutual understanding although in those cases personally in those cases I've experienced uh, 
appreciation for what I did. And I'm a very, very strong believer in mutual understanding and action. To answer the question, I believe that compassion as a component of action, that pity and commiseration are without. And that's what makes compassion, compassion. Thank you, Donna, for your question, posing that question, and it's one that people often ask at the corner. Again, this is a pre-compassion tour question, and if you'd like to add a question to the compassion tour question queue, that's what I'm naming this, uh, feel free to leave one in the comments. I'm getting many of these via Facebook and looking forward to seeing if anyone viewing this feels inspired to ask a question via YouTube. With that, I will cue the music in the editing process after this. And September 3rd is the day. I have a couple more weeks here in Davis. And looking forward to all the blessings and grace at hand and bringing awareness to compassion around the United States and elsewhere. Thank you.